What's up guys? This is the Broverman and I am back to bring you to the next episode of my Empire Total War Let's Play as the Ottoman Empire. So to round off our last time, uh, we have laid siege to the city of Munich and you'll notice it will be a bit different this battle because Munich has no walls, there is no capture zone, we just have to attack and destroy both this full stack of Austrian troops plus this full stack of Prussian troops. So things should be pretty interesting, there's a lot of artillery flying around. So I suspect I will probably want to do something like this to make sure I get a uh, a good core of infantry into the fight before... Well, this army could well end up getting mostly destroyed. So uh, I want to make sure I've got my reinforcements up first. Or at least the better ones. Don't quite need my 75 units of grenadiers here. Um, so because these are both fa different factions, both of these armies will enter the field at the same time. And they won't get their reinforcements, um, but they've only got a handful each. So without further ado, let's crack on and destroy uh, the last city in the Austrian Empire. And this should be pretty nice. And it's an important step because it then also means we secure the northern end of the uh, the, sp the space between the mountains to get down towards Venice. So then our Italian fronts can focus solely on pushing south and west rather than worrying about potential threats from the north. But yeah, I think my uh, quick me boys are going to be they're going to be having to uh, very much earn their keep into this episode. But let's find out. Because I'd like to be up over here. I think. Come on. Let's just set up my guns. Let's pick some Nizam to form up on one flank. Let's pick some Nizam. Actually, just do Nizam and probably two grenadiers can form on one flank. Two Nizam and two gren grenadiers can form. See, I want them to form like, because I'm doing it so close to the edge of the map, they have to deploy like that. Skirmish skirmishers can push up, Whiskers of Souls, hang back, deploy our cavalry ready to push up. Same with our howitzers, but we may need to hurriedly deploy. That's we pretty much do. Um, first of all, get our cavalry back out on the flank, get our uh, infantry to pull back. We do have enemies on our right flank. No, make sure we deploy the right way. Get ready to deploy our Sipahi in an offensive role. How easy need to run back. Deploy some of my cavalry ahead to try and interdict. Again, my infantry has decided to not deploy to a reasonable location. Well, actually, you guys need to, need to pull a bit further back. I do see cavalry charging here. You guys move in to hit them. Risks of souls. Push up. Sipahi hit the fourth horse guards. You guys stop deploying weird and deploy in position. My gunners are now moving somewhere else. I don't quite understand why. My Sipahi were upset. Well, they're being upset and being engaged by the horse grenadier guards. Chance three musketeers form up. 
Light infantry, I'm okay with losing them. See, this is the thing about deployment zones. Is sometimes the game really screws up. And it deploys your troops where you don't want them to be at all. So my gunners have made it. Deploy my cavalry forward. Let's get my infantry to skirmish to the rear. Deploy my howitzers a bit further back. They're still being bombarded, but that's good. If they're being bombarded by round shot, it means they're not in carcass shot range. So who's this? It's my Sipahi engaging the general's bodyguard. That works out pretty good. Okay, my full felt formation over here. You can push up to threaten the flank. You guys on limber. You guys fire it well off. You guys on limber fire canister as well. You guys folks fire block of men there. One of their generals have died. Let's try to hit that general's unit before getting back behind the line. General can push up. Start dropping quick line on some of the Prussian troops that are coming in as reinforcements. turns you guys fire it well off. I don't know why you guys are still engaging. Sapahi have routed. Oh Christ. Look at our reinforcements coming in. Charge the artillery. I don't like their chance of survival. push on this flank. They do have cavalry somewhere around here. Yeah. So I'd like to try and lure them in so I can engage them. Good. I want them to hit their to hit their um, artillery. My next unit I might be a bit more stoic with. These men drop into square because they're coming right at you. You guys charge hit the fry core. Let's bring out my Riskers of Souls because it looks like they're after my guns. Janus Musketeers have, um, have failed. Hold on a second, there is a postman at the door. And I'm back and then it's straight back into the carnage. Those guys need to send some of these units to go try and knock out these guns. They're not going to be happy about it. But some of their comrades are a lot less happy. Deploy the risks of souls into combat. Let's deploy our light infantry into the combat. You guys push in. So our reinforcements that are now back here, you guys just stop and engage the Prussian Fusiliers. These men are firing into the flank. Our quick climb, me boys, are going to be firing at some of these units to the rear. One of the units routed before they even got to the... before they even got to the uh, guns. But now they've come back, which is huge so let's immediately run them in position those guys try to get into square sepahi let's deploy you to go start try and take out some of these gun teams the nizam can attempt to hold their own we need to knock out some of this artillery 
so the dragoons are coming to charge my infantry so they're gonna my guys are gonna hold square you guys are holding they charge back into my howitzers yeah this this front is is messy There we go. Now my general can go in and hit the mortars. You guys stay in square. You guys stay in square. My general can go do some work. My Nizam are here. They're a bit isolated. I'll try to see if I can get those 24 pounders up on the uh, up onto the hill to do something useful. Boy, these janissaries in square. General, go hit the mortars. These houses up here are just gonna get out of the way, hunker down, and just start shooting. Okay, you can try charge them there. Howitzers. Once they're in position, they're just going to open up. Um, more or less con content, just to kind of leave. This flank is being, this army is being dead. So unlimber, fire at will, click, quick climb. Yeah, Nizam are pretty good. Blunderbuss shotgunners are here at close range. Run this infantry like this. The blunderbuss shotgunners are going to be very upset when this infantry gets into position. Let's run this unit of Nizam that's on the flank over to my other force. You guys keep forming square. You will beat their uh, you will beat their cavalry in the long run. Blast those shotgunners with canister shot. Well, not can yeah, canister shot. That's the one. Blast them at short range. Yeah, the units to our front, uh, uh, the army to our front is <laughs> shattered. There's a couple of. Do I hear puckle guns? Yeah, I do. <laughs> puckle guns. Okay, let's get my Sapahi out of the way, then go try and charge these 24 pounders. Those men form square. Because they're about to be charged. There we go. So we've got a new general. And now we're starting to get a proper position. Get my artillery to fire a round shot. Yeah. General died. Understandable. I'll try to charge the Union of Guardsmen with my infantry. I'll try to push these infantry to do something more useful against this gun position. My Sapahi have shattered their guard artillery, so then fall back to the new line of defence. This artillery up here. Get off axis. Get off axis so they don't cause too much damage. My Mameluke's going to go snipe that three pounder horse artillery unit. Bring this cavalry back to freedom. Yeah, they're about to get charged. These Mamelukes have done some good work against these guardsmen. There we go, this is it. This is the, the thing they couldn't count on. Like the, the Russians in the Second World War, my I've got a good the good strength in our armies is our is our ability to deal with follow-up punches. Let's run my I'll try to charge those guys, because I don't know. I can't kill them. I can't unilaterally attack them. They look pretty good, so I'm wondering if I run into them, what do they do? I 
Well, they don't die. But one thing I do see, trundling into the distance, is the great gun. So where's my Mamelukes? Oh, those, yeah, those are my Mamelukes. Hitting horse archers. Horse, horse artillery. Mamelukes have routed. So this artillery can... They can route. Those guys can charge into the... Enemy. Although they may as well round shot and begin round shotting some of these units to the rear. Oh, very danger close. Quick climb there. Start to hit some of these units behind the lines. Except you are a bit not isolated, but you're not. There we go. Another unit coming in. Janissaries can come down the hill. You guys on Limba, where's my Sipahi unit? So you're hitting the Grandier Guards. If they want to make an exhibition of it and charge my gun team, they're ready. There we go. Keep that artillery unit charged. Keep that cavalry unit charging. May as well try to kill them all. Let's run these guys around the rear to charge into the rear of these line infantry guards. There we go. They very much have dumped all of their troops into the field at once, which is good for overwhelming my initial army, as we saw. But it does start to suffer from a combat endurance perspective. My janissaries have routed, I think, my great gunners charged them. Where's my Mamelukes? Okay, these guys are up here. Okay, they need to go. Oh, those are all my guys running away. Because really, I want to make maximum use of my cavalry advantage to chase down some of these especially the like the Austrian ones I'm not bothered about because that will be their faction is over so my Mamelukes here keep my field artillery engaging I'd like to try and get those Fusiliers. Too bad my Mamelukes were out at the drop of a hat. My gunners can engage the 3rd Regiment of Dragoons, Count Waldenberg. Ooh. Whole line of them taken out in one fell swoop. they're withdrawing. I don't think they're capable of withdrawing. So let's push up to engage the cavalry if they want to try and play this kind of game. These Sipahi are going to charge the Grenadier Guards. The artillery's got some danger close hits on them. Trying to do as much damage as possible. I'd like to try and route retreat actually. To try and knock out these guard these grenadiers instead. But we do then have to do pretty much a a mass charge to try and present that new critical target for them to focus on. So not bothered about routing Austrians. I am bothered about zeroing Germans. So I might even run these guys even further away. 
chased down that unit of Grandier Guards. This Sepahi unit is running down the Fusiliers. Yeah, these militia weren't going to last. Charge my Janissaries into the Engineers because they seem to want to come back and have some more. Right, Austria and Prussia. You don't want all of your men to enter the field at once. You want a nice, staggered entry. Because it means that your army, that could smash through my first defence, is now ragged, depleted, and tired. When it comes to fighting my newer reserves of fresh troops. So you char keep charging the Grenadier Guards. Nice right, Pahi, go after those foot guards. General's bodyguard. Let's get you into position, ready to also do some good damage. Also, my other routing units have finally realised they're going to rout. Yeah, the Austrian army will disappear regardless, so we want to kill as many of the, the Prussians as we can. Because their army will remain. Well, I think that's now all of them. I mean, it isn't. So where's the problem? I can see that quickly I'm going in. Eh. As are my guys. Now you're right, you've got orders. Okay. I know there was an army, there was a unit back here. Those are both Austrians running away. Those are my cavalry chasing them down. Did those guys temporarily decide to not rout? Hmm. Let's not worry about it. Let's just keep... Keep doing what we're doing. Okay, German flags. There you go. There they are. If I keep bouncing around all my combats, eventually they'll show themselves. I suspect they're probably hidden. Let's charge that unit of Swiss line. Because also they're not engaging any of my men. No one's being fired upon. No one's in combat. You. Ah. Uh, it's heavy horse artillery as well. That's they're good good guys to kill. Go after the Swiss line. Go after those foot guards. Ah, is it right? It's this unit. So the the unit I've previously looked at and gone, that doesn't look quite right. Line these guys up. Let my cavalry continue the work, to be honest. Though this house, I can just stop where it is. Let's see if you men... Because we have lost men. In which case, let's probably get you out of the way. There's likely going to be a need for my... Oh, I can't even... This unit, like attack ground nearby. It looks like that's what's the pro what's going to be the problem. Because my men, for whatever reason, they aren't attackable. So where's my other? 
can get these howitzers to limber up. Because the problem is that could be a a battle loser there. You know, I've attacked, so I'm on the offensive. Let's get this gun team into position and just start to blast the area of canister shot. So even though I, even though I can't attack that unit, conventionally anyway, I can kill them and do damage to them. Which realistically with canister shots likely going to be the best way to do it. Some of my howitzers are bugged. So let's just let my regular artillery do it. Plus these howitzers firing quicklime will likely help. Just get them into position, attack ground just short of them. I don't know what will happen from a morale perspective. Because, I mean, they've lost almost all of their men and they think they are fresh. So, you know, what do we expect to happen there? But yeah, I'll bring you guys back once. Well, once this is over, really, because I don't know how long this is going to last. It's one of the quirks of Empire Total War. So just a second, everyone. There we go. I had to remove my artillery to kill one guy at the edge of the map. Unfortunately, I killed him because ultimately, I think this is how it works anyway. Because I, I did not get a you know continue end battle screen. I think if I didn't kill this guy, I would have lost. But it's a close victory for us, and that was close. Those two forces really hammered me. And to be honest, I fluffed the battle. It was the, it was the fact that I could pour in so many more reinforcements that saved the day. But there we go. The Prussian army's destroyed. The reinforcing army's been destroyed. That resupply unit is being pushed back. Or has been pushed back. And Munich hates me. But what will certainly help is knocking down their university. That will cheer them up. Let's get rid of the seminary as well. Let's repair the uh, city's infrastructure. Let's recruit all my troops. Let's also... Can I recruit siege guns directly from here or are they not? No, they're not up to not up to snuff. What I can do is probably take Do I have any, do I have any roaming siege guns left? Well not, not siege guns, heavy guns. Look, I can recruit some here at Vienna and move them up to the front. So I've got age. I've got two assassins here. Let's send one to try to kill this Italian state's priest. And we got him. Push up to the front. Then that also means our Hashash in here can go infiltrate Württemberg. As will this priest. Begin converting the population to Islam. Let's upgrade the roads. So this army also needs to replenish as does this army which is two units short. I think what I'm probably going to do with you guys is A replenish and B move up some Nizam rifles. Good. You got a tiny bit of replenishing do you're going to regroup you guys are back up to full strength now and you can't leave the territory just yet Marsh. this this column can push up ahead of Dresden to act as a resupply force these guys are replenishing as is Mr. Farid we captured Venice we were in, oh, we're in Tripoli can you guys leave the Barbary States territory yet? Minus eight. No. Two turns though, till Misrata grows, and we can build a happiness building. So let's upgrade the port and let's get a light galley to occupy the port. Malta's coming round. Slowly but surely. So you're in a good position to land and hit Naples in future. Try 
trying to see if I recognize any of these generals. Enrico Cabotto, I recognize him. He's going down. I suspect my diplomacy is going to take a hit when I declare on my ally. But, you know, these things have got to be done. Corland is still converting manually because it doesn't have a... It does not have a religious building. Kainjolsk is still going. You guys are still on the march north to an army that doesn't even need your support anymore. Austria destroyed. New nation arises, the Cherokee. Oh, so because Austria got destroyed, the Cherokee re-emerged, but they will probably be taken over and consumed by the Mughal Empire. So my men are also... Oh no, this is, I made peace with the Mughals, wasn't, didn't I? Could go take the pirates, but there's no need. Our war against the Prussians is going on very well. You could intercept aspirationally, but I think I'm, I may as well take a turn. Ooh, Konya. Konya has nothing to research. In which case, then, you are a traditional university with three gentlemen. So you, these gentlemen may all transition over to the new university to make them better. Because it's only a traditional university, whereas I've got... Oh, Comanche, actually. You could probably stand to be lost. No, Konya can go, because Anatolia have already got order problems. Clamour for a vault 24, yeah. So if I get rid of this traditional university, it might not be the most research efficient way compared to Comanche, because they have no agents. But to be honest, we're very much endgame when it comes to technologies. Yep, Bavaria's ours. Let's hit and turn. As more forces march down to square off with the Mughal Empire. The good thing is, as soon as I knock down all of my uh, my religious buildings, then it means that their avenues to steal my technology shrink significantly. Yeah, your gentlemen may wander my empire, but I, I already know everything there is to be known. But imagine if the tech tree kept going and you could, you know, I'm fighting in Napoleonic France. What am I using? Supercomputers. <laughs> I think I did that in Hearts of Iron 3 once where I had, I focused, researched jet technology and atomic weapons and I was uh, dropping nuclear weapons on Berlin with Vulcan bombers in 1943. But this army has wandered within our grasp. Boris Pfeffer. Bad mistake wanting to raid our stuff. We will make you suffer for this. And we will chew you, chew you up and destroy your force. At some point we do need to hit Württemberg. And that's going to be a bit of a slog. Because <laughs> they've got a lot, of, a lot of stacks nearby. But they will probably also have a traditional city. So we've got a bunch of artillery good core of troops it's probably going to be fine well it will be fine uh, okay artillery at the back let's go offensive so they have more infantry than I do but I have more cavalry. All my Delhi cavalry can stop firing. Okay, a bit of an unorthodox layout. But my intention is my infantry to break out like so. Same with my infantry, and let's run my cavalry up. Okay, my... how it says engage more to the rear. So 
see if we can scare off their cavalry. Lancer guards attempting to come in. Drop into squares, boys. Oh no, they're going to deploy. No, they're not. Guys, deploying funny. There we go. Come on, Samak Janissaries, charge! God, it looks like there's going to be melee charges abound. In which case, let's retarget our how it is to engage these targets to our left flank before they just to do too much damage in the centre. So those Semites engage those Lancer Guards. Janashi Musketeers are upset. But when we have the advantage just swarm forwards I think think that's the name of the game. It looks like they don't want to attempt to uh, beat us on the field. So get my cavalry. I mean my Delhi cavalry is only light cavalry so that's not too much of a problem. Keep pushing. Run my guys through the formation. Let's make sure my artillery is not hitting anyone nearby. Now I've run through the grenadiers. I can then spin my janissary around and attack them. This pat here doing a grand job against these engineers. Devastating quick climb shot for those men. See, this is what can be quite fun to do with the Ottomans is just just charge. There is no You decide you know what? Tactics are for wimps. You know what I'm gonna do? Charge! It can be quite Therapeutic. So I'll run these Samat Janissaries around to go hit the Grenadiers here. My Nizam go support my other combat. All my foot artillery engage their general's bodyguard. Samat run, Sam run around and hit their engineers. We've got one lone unit of Marines here attempting to face down all of my infantry. Janissaries to charge the general's bodyguard because why the hell not? Oh, you guys all hit that unit of engineers. You should be able to kill them all. Good. Let's get my Delhi horsemen out of the mix. Because I would very much like them to carry on their attack. Was it pretty? No. Sometimes though, we don't need it to be pretty, we need it to be bloody. So you guys all stop firing just in case. You go after the grenadiers, you go after the horse artillery. My Sipahi go after the marines. And then my general's bodyguard can go chase down 12 pounders in the gallery. I don't know if my... I don't know what was shooting then, because I can see all these quick climb clouds, but my artillery doesn't have the firing... Uh, 
symbol. Those men have fallen. Now engage the 19th foot. So I very much thought that was pretty much a battle fought in the style of the AI. <laughs> Go straight for them. Overwhelm them. Damn the casualties. We're going to kill them. There you go, 1900 down to 200. It does mean my army can't take many more of that. Many more uh, engagements with that sort of ratio. <laughs> yes, Prussian, Prussian agents. My universities are being pushed more and more eastward. And the longer you take to get into position, the less time you're going to have to steal my technologies. So I think we're going, to, we're going to see a concentration of Prussian troops in northern Germany because they're going to have Württemberg holding their flank. Ooh, bridge battle, bridge battle, bridge battle with a depleted army coming in. That's not great. And a good one behind them. Can I swap these? Yes, I can. Okay, infantry, infantry, infantry. How it says a good... Hand mortars are fun. Something like that, I think, would be a good way to bring them in. But we definitely want to bring them to fight, because that's a huge amount of troops. But that's this army here at the village. That's the garrison at Hanover. That's this army here and someone else out of the picture. But I we've definitely got to take it, because I've got a lot of troops backing me. I mean, this army's a bit ragged, but I'm hoping by the time it gets to the third stack, we've already done pretty well. Got a lot of artillery. Yeah, this should be pretty pretty damn awesome, but looking at the timer, I believe it's time to win the episode. So, thanks for watching guys, hope you enjoyed, and we'll see you next time for yet another delicious Prussian river battle. Cheers everyone.